Good morning. Paul Georgi from Allendale. It's April 11th, Thursday morning, and we just got the uh, USDA export sales numbers here. Uh, corn, old crop sales, 185, 200. That uh, compares to an estimated range of 150 to 600. New crop, uh, 290. That's on the high end of the range there. They were expecting up from 75 up to 300. Beans, uh, old crop beans was probably the surprise of the report with uh, 319,000 tons sold uh, compared to an, an estimate of uh, 175 to 500. The uh, old new crop beans, only 64,500 tons sold there. So uh, wheat uh, pretty much in the middle of the range, uh, except for the new crop wheat, uh, the 13, 14 crop there at uh, only 76,000. So not a big uh, deal. I think the corn number that we uh, can extrapolate from that is that the demand still is uh, terrible as far as the the corn goes. We're also uh, overnight hearing that India is struggling to uh, move some of their corn on the world market just because of lack of demand and, and low prices. So uh, uh the uh, numbers that from the USDA yesterday certainly uh, justified when uh, looking at world ending stocks as a, a larger number. Here in the U.S., though, we've got uh, the futures markets uh, stronger in the old crop, uh, a little weaker in the new crop, basically uh, spreading uh, in the old crop, new crop spreads narrowed in uh, considerably here since that quarterly stocks report. Now we're seeing some uh, improvement in the uh, uh, old crop numbers and uh, in seeing some improvement in uh, the spreads. And we expect that to continue as farmer holdings are extremely tight and uh, har farmers aren't going to get very uh, uh, emotional about selling and cleaning out their bins until that uh, new crop is at least planted and uh, possibly uh, they can see some growth on it. So that's going to be a few uh, few more weeks away. Weather, uh, most of the Midwest uh, received rain overnight with a system that's moving through right now. The eastern Corn Belt still is uh, uh, getting some moisture here this morning. There's more uh, rain on the way, which traders are going to start talking about planning delays here if we uh, stretch this out much into next week. But expect that uh, the southern half of the Midwest here will uh, open up uh, later on uh, this weekend, and uh, they should get some more planning done as uh, even Sunday through uh, early next week. So uh, we will uh, we'll see some planning progress numbers from the USDA on uh, Monday on, on corn. The, uh, there has been rumors that China has bought a few cargoes of uh, old crop soybeans out of the P&W here uh, late yesterday. Uh, we haven't seen any confirmation of that yet. Uh, the trade was talking about that just because of the delays that uh, South American ports uh, have at this time. There's also talk that uh, Argentina truckers are going to go on strike on the 22nd of April. So that's uh, going to be monitored closely here as their shipping delays are already uh, considerable. Uh, the bird flu situation in China seems to uh, have subsided somewhat, but uh, the uh, demand for chicken at uh, some of the, uh, the food uh, restaurants there are reporting that uh, considerable uh, demand has been reduced because of this uh, uh, the, the bird flu. So uh, the livestock trade, we've got uh, uh, cash markets trading at 127 in Texas yesterday. And in Kansas, the uh, cutout values were lower, again, down 46 in choice down 145 in select. Pork cutout values held about the same. They were up two cents uh, yesterday. The uh, uh, standoff at the uh, at the feedlot level, uh, many were expecting we could see 128 trade today, uh, but uh, the uh, weakness in the futures yesterday uh, gave way to some uh, movement uh, yesterday afternoon. So uh, we'll have to monitor that very closely. The the outside markets are giving some support to uh, grains and, and uh, livestock here this morning as the dollar is down 
uh, 40 cents as we speak, and that uh, is providing some support here to the nearby uh, cattle and hogs in the hopes that uh, could uh, invigorate some uh, uh, export business again. So uh, a lot of uh, a lot of things going on here, a lot of reasons to stay in touch with Allendale's reps. Uh, you can reach us at 800-262-7538. We wish everybody a very successful trading day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow morning. Thank you.